Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on Muse Score and how to make a chord chart using slash notation. Uh, slash notation is, is used just to kind of indicate where the chord changes are by measures, uh, but it doesn't really specify what rhythm you're playing. And so uh, this is kind of a quick and dirty way to show the chord progression and the chord changes within a piece of music. So uh, I've just opened up Muse Score, and by default, it brings up this particular music sheet uh, template. You can also go up to File and go to New and create a template for the music as well. But this is the quickest way to do it. So we're going to just use the default one that it opens up with. First thing I'm going to do is click on the first measure, and then I'm going to hit Shift and click on the last measure. Then I'm going to go up here to Tools, and I'm going to pick Fill with Slashes. So these this puts four slashes uh, per measure. This is four, four time. So this just indicates uh, that something is going to be played here, but it's up to uh, the musician to uh, figure out what sort of rhythm they're going to do with the chord changes with this. So first off, we're going to go and we're going to click on this first slash in the first measure. And we're going to go up here and we're going to go to add and we're going to go to uh, text and we're going to go to chord symbol. So I'm going to type in here A7. You can type whatever chord you want in there. Uh, and so this indicates we're going to start off with the chord A7. Now, if I want to have a change over here, I can select this slash in the, the beginning of the third measure or if I needed to actually make the change over on the third beat of the third measure, I could actually highlight that to show the change went there. Uh, and then I would go up here and I'd go to add text again. And then I would uh, go to uh, chord symbol again and say I want to change to D. So this, this puts it right over uh, where the beat would be that the change should occur. Uh, then I can go back down here into the next line. And once again, I'm going to pick the first beat and I'm going to go over here and go to text one more time and go to symbol and I'm going to change to an E. All right. So, so that's it. Uh, that's how you can create a really quick chord chart using slash notation using Muse score. So if you need to, to write out a chord chart so you remember something from a song or even write it out and print it out to give it to other people that you're playing a piece of music with, you can do this. It's quick. It's simple. Uh, this just specifies the chord. So it's up to the person in this case and whatever instrument they're playing as to what chord they're going to play, uh, what rhythm they're going to do on it. And uh, so very quick and easy uh, chord chart in Muse Score. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. And whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.